Well done on the last case, you've been doing very well this year. Um, right, we've got a case we need to solve. Um, it's the gang members, it's about a gang basically going around and they're causing all kind of problems that we need to um, put a stop to. Um, so this is the gang here. We've got the brains of the operation. Um, is Mr. Fat, uh, this gentleman here. Um, he's causing us a lot of problems, so we need to be looking for this gentleman. Um, he's often with these two. Uh, so we've got salt and sugar. Um, here we are, so that's the whole gang. Uh, they're often seen um, lingering around these suppliers. Um, they're often in the foods that these suppliers have. Uh, so you've got Domino's, KFC, Burger King uh, and McDonald's. <coughs> um, so these are being given away to people in the public and people in the public aren't being aware of um, some of the implications of the foods that they're eating. So we need to be cracking down on this gang guys because they're causing a lot of problems for people in society. Um, some of these problems are type 2 diabetes, you've got breast cancer, um, also just normal cancer, liver disease, asthma, um, cardiovascular diseases and so far they've contributed to 40,000, that's 40,000 deaths in the UK alone this year. That's a huge number of people guys, we need to be making sure that we're cracking down on these and cracking down on this gang. So guys, now we know that we've got all this information and we know what the gang is doing, uh, we want to tell you a bit more about some of the victims that we think that this gang is going to affect next. Um, so the first victim here um, is this gentleman here in the corner. Uh, he all looks happy, but wait till you see his real lifestyle. This guy's struggling from type 2 diabetes. Hi, my name's Harry. I was recently di diagnosed with type 2 diabetes. Uh, this recently came about from when I was feeling thirsty and tired all the time. Um, I then went to the doctors and he diagnosed me with uh, type 2 diabetes. Um, this is due to having too much drug food. And I have to always constantly monitor my blood sugar levels and as well as always what, what I eat. And I always plan ahead now just to make sure I've got enough insulin with me throughout the day. Um, like I can't go to restaurants now with my friends. Um, I can't really play sports. I um, can't really do what I want to do with my life so I can't really enjoy it as much anymore. Um, and if it, if it can't be helpful for me, it can't be any healthy for you. The next victim, guys, is looking at a more um, visual effect of what um, this gang has been doing to people. As you can see, this young lady here has been putting on tremendous amounts of weight. Um, she really needs to get help in this because obviously um, she is probably going to die. Um, so here she is. So the next victim um, that this gang is going to be looking at is um, Miss Louise here. Um, Miss Louise is, um, she looks all fine, however, um, depression is hitting her, so we need to have a chat with some of her and her family, um, talk about how the gang has actually got to her. I'm addicted to junk food, and it makes me feel sad and tired all the time. I wish I had more confidence to go out with my friends and party. But I don't, and I feel myself gaining weight, but there's nothing I can do about it because I'm addicted to junk food. Alright then guys, so we know about the gang, we know what it's been doing, we know the supplies as well, and we're going to focus on the victims, um, so we really need to be getting hold of these victims, letting them know because we can't have another loss. We've already had 40,000 in the UK alone this year, so we need to put a stop to this now straight away. So we need to go out there guys and let everyone know about the implications of junk food.
Hi guys, thanks for watching. If you eat a lot of junk food and are concerned about your health, click the link below for more information.